Jack can't sleep well. He is looking around the room and could see the scary images. But it was just a reflection of stuff through lamp. He got scared and jumped out of the bed and ran to his grandparents' room. Grandma, Grandma, I am scared. Can I get in here with you? Sure, son. Come in. Grandpa is in deep sleep, snoring in funny way. Grandma, do you also sleep less because of these scary creatures? What scary creatures, Jack? The same from my phone game. They are real. It's unbelievable. Yes, I know, Grandma said. But you try to sleep, my son. Grandma understood. The phone games are affecting his brain. Grandma whispered, I wish I too had magical pillow as your grandfather has to sleep well. Magical pillow? Yes, but he will give it to one who assists him for full day. Jack fell asleep while planning to assist grandpa to get the magical pillow. Next morning, he was excited to work with grandpa. He went with grandpa for the walk, gardening, played chess and they had food together. While grandpa took a nap in day, Jack finished his online classes and did some fun stuff on phone. Grandpa got ready for evening routine and Jack again accompanied him till night. As the day came to an end, Jack was tired. Grandma brought a small pillow just same as grandfather's. Jack got excited. Magical pillow. He was very happy and slept off very soon on it. Next morning, Jack announced, This is a real magical pillow, Grandma. I slept nicely dreaming of beautiful flowers last night. Grandma said, Real magic is in your brain, not in pillow, my son. You spend your day with a healthy routine, so you got a good sleep. You learn new skills of gardening with your grandpa, so you saw that in your dreams as well, not the scary creatures from your game. Kids, remember, wherever you put your energies, it will directly or indirectly affect your life. So always invest your time and energy in creative and positive activities. So shall you saw, so shall you re-